Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to take a look at the um, San Diego Comic-Con Voltageous Frankie Stein doll that released. So stay tuned as we look at all of her details. I don't know that I'm going to completely debox her, but I'm certainly going to do my best so we can take a look at everything without any glare. So stay tuned. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look at her box first. So, um, like I said, this was an SDCC exclusive, but it also was on MattelCreations.com. Retail was $75 on her. Um, I am going to do my best to show you her without completely deboxing. I just don't, I don't know. I'm just, I don't really want to debox her. <laughs> um, she just looks so good in her box. So she does have this outer slip cover sleeve here that says Voltageous. Um, you can see the artwork there. Absolutely stunning with the lightning bolts. Um, if you turn to this side, there's a Monster High logo. Uh, and then of course on the back is more amazing, amazing artwork. Oh gosh, it's so gorgeous. Um, you can see here it does say the doll designer, packaging engineer, packaging packaging designer, copyright, uh, copywriter, excuse me, and then also the illustrator. So uh, it does give us some information there, obviously, as to who had a hand in this one. There's her UPC, not that you can find her in the wild because you won't. And like I said, this is just a sleeve, so it does come off. I don't want to show too much because, of course, we're going to look at her in a second. But you can see there's a nice big window display. Voltageous is in metallic um, writing there. On the back, we have that artwork again. Voltageous is back. And then there's a little blip there if you'd like to read it. And then it also does have some fun little verbiage here. So Monster High, I'll let you pause and read there if you would like to. Of course, we have more amazing artwork because why not, right? She is so, so amazing. I just, I love this doll. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get her out of this without um, ruining the box. Because <laughs> I love the box. I love how she looks in it. And I just want her to stay really, really nice. So stay tuned. Okay, so that was fun and not too bad. I was actually able to slide her right out of the plastic. So she is still on her backing, guys. I'm not going to fully debox her. I love I love how she looks too much in the box to do that. Um, and I just, I don't know. <laughs> sometimes I want to debox things. Sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends. And this one, I just don't want to. So <laughs> anyhow, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, Voltages here. So she is actually a remake of an earlier uh, Voltages doll. I will put a photo in here of what that one looked like. Um, this one, of course, is for the SDCC, so, you know, a little bit more, uh, you know, amped up, but still a lot of fun. So she does have her normal Frankie hair just with some silver tinsel in there, which I think is kind of fun. You can see it's in a high pony there, little black rubber band. She has a plastic lightning bolt headband going on there. Um, really cool. The hair I was able to fix it. Mine was all bumped off to the side here. I was able to pull it through, so now it's all nice and, you know, how it should be. I can still kind of fix it a little bit down there. It's, it's all tied in. Um, coming to her face... She does have the one blue eye, one green eye. Her face mold, though, seems a little more rounded, I think, than the other Frankies that we've got at the moment. But uh, I don't mind it. It's super cute. I love the um, shimmery, like, metallic glitter look to the lightning bolt going across her face there. We, of course, still do have her Frankie Stein stitches. Um, you can see there she does have earrings that are stars with lightning bolts in both ears. Do love that touch. Absolutely amazing. She has the uh, bolts in her neck, of course, which all Frankenstein should have, so pretty darn cool there. Not really sure what to call this jacket, per se, but it is a lot of fun. So we've got, like, all this frayed tinsel, like, you know, um, sparks and lightning bolts and bolts, you know, coming out of her. I think that's a really neat touch. Her hands, um, she has painted black gloves. Uh, you can see here a little bit better. There's like a star shape on the one side, but they are painted. They're not an actual glove you can remove. She has a bodysuit on here that has uh, the star with lightning bolts and stitches and then a lightning bolt across the top. Um, her belt, of course, is a lightning bolt. Everything about her just screams voltageous. <laughs> so I love her pants. It's like little stars all over the place. You can see her stitching there. Her boots are amazing with these very high polish um, platform heels and then lightning bolts and stars going across them. She does come with a copy of the comic of Voltageous, which I think is really kind of cool. Neat little touch there. And of course the monster high comb. So you can see that they're um, very high gloss mirror finish as well. So a very, very amazing, amazing doll. Party wants to just say, screw it, take it right out. But I, I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, um, but I want to, but maybe I will down the road. I haven't decided yet. I did debox Dracula um, from the Skullector line. I ended up putting her back in her box just because of space issues. Um, she's, I'm looking at her right now. She's over on the other side with uh, my designer dolls and all that, but 
I don't know yet. I haven't decided with Frankie. I just really like how she looks in the box. I think she looks pretty darn amazing. So we'll see. But yeah, she does have the normal articulation. Um, if she was taken out, her head can spin, move, pivot, whatever you want to say. Shoulders, elbows, and wrists do as well. You can kind of see here, you know, the arms do move. Um, she has articulation at the waist, at the knee. Um, so just like your normal Monster High dolls, she does have your good articulation that we do like from them. So good posability, range of motion. If you do uh, any type of doll photography, she will certainly accommodate your uh, needs there as be it so a very very fun doll glad i finally got my hands on her i've had her for almost a month now i just haven't had a chance to really do anything with her since there's been so many other things going on um but yeah there is a voltageous from this collector line and she is absolutely amazing one thing I did want to point out is her stand is at the bottom of the box, FYI, guys. So just an FYI there, there's her stand. Like I said, I'm putting her back in her box at the moment. And I'm like, oh gosh, there's her stand. So that is where it's at. All right, everyone, well, that's going to do it for my review of the SDCC Voltageous Frankie Stein that released at the Comic-Con this year. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, so I didn't completely debox her, guys, but there's plenty of other deboxing reviews out there uh, that'll show you her completely free from her plastic ties <laughs> um but for me for some reason for this one i just i want to leave her in <laughs> she just looks really darn cool but anyhow i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any questions about her or any other item on my channel please do leave those in the questions and comments down below i will get back to you as soon as i possibly can um stay tuned my d23 dolls are still on their way uh they are supposed to arrive much later today than originally planned they're supposed to come between 11 and 1 now they're not coming until between 4 and 6 so once again, massive delay on those. I'm getting so anxious for them. It's getting crazy. So anyhow, stay tuned. They are coming. Alrighty. Well, like I said, hope you enjoyed. Hope everyone's having an extra magical day and we will see you real soon.